If you're not a loving person, you will never be a servant leader. If you use the concept of servant leadership in order to simply increase the bottom line of a business, you're, it's manipulation. It's not love. And chances are you'll not be able to pull it off. Because if, if a sense of service is not at the root of who you are, it, it's, hard, it's hard to put it on when you're in the business world. If, you don't have an, if you're married and don't have an attitude of service toward your wife or toward your husband, you're not likely going to have an attitude of service toward people that work for you or with you. So I want to, I want to kind of focus on, on this issue because I believe if you, can, if you can begin a track or continue a track perhaps in your life of becoming a loving person and developing these seven traits into your life, then wherever you end up in the business world, chances are you will be a servant leader. And I don't think it's any question. All the businessmen I talk to around the country say, you know, this, this whole idea of servant leadership is key. It's key to business success. And I, I believe that. I believe if you, if you have the sense that our business is here to serve people and we're here to serve each other in our business and we're here to serve our customers, you will be more successful in, in the business. I, I really believe that's true. And I think most uh, business leaders believe that. And I think it's been demonstrated by many businesses. And that doesn't mean that all businesses have that concept because they don't. But those who do, I think, uh, are much more successful in terms of reaching whatever goals they have as a business.